Finding a way to work together to make sure things are, are getting done and everything stays alive and happy <laughs> is not as easy as it sounds. So we have pigs, chickens, ducks. Pretty much every vegetable that you can think of. <laughs> <laughs> we can't have a cow yet, like, no. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> we have, yeah. Five year plan, <laughs> five years. So gratitude is generally considered or defined as a feeling of appreciation and thankfulness. In the one study that we're doing now, we're looking at is it major life events such as losing one's job or, or losing a close loved one that cause growth or really are initiator of this changes in gratitude. Whereas, you know, what we're doing here, it's more of a day-to-day -day process and really kind of honing in on that and really it's a yeah dynamic system like I think you've really excelled in tractor work so I'm so grateful that I have you um, to do that and your willingness to get up in the middle of the night and irrigate <laughs> <laughs> I'm grateful just that I have Lauren in my life and that our paths crossed and here we are but you're are you grateful for my like knowledge and like yeah nurturing yeah and, I'm <laughs> I'm like, no, say how much, how good I am at this. It's, there's different ways to express it. There's, you know, showing somebody that you care and then telling somebody that you care. And I think for us, it's mostly the unspoken because of all the chores and just little day-to-day -day tasks that we have going on here. I think the unspoken is usually what works well for us.